The following presentation for the 10-year anniversary of Hurricane Wilma is a public service announcement from the Tampa Bay Area, Florida National Weather Service Office. Hurricane Wilma was a large late-season hurricane that made landfall on October 24, 2005, around 6.30 a.m. in Cape Romano, a barrier island in southwest Florida near Naples. Wilma was a Category 3 hurricane that had a nearly 60-mile-wide eye at landfall. Wilma began as a tropical storm in the Northwest Caribbean Sea early in the morning on October 17, 2005. As Wilma began to move to the Northwest, it rapidly intensified, growing from a tropical storm to a Category 5 hurricane in just 24 hours. In another six hours, it would reach a record lowest ever central pressure of any hurricane in the Atlantic Basin of 882 millibars. At this time, Wilma's eye shrunk to a record small two mile diameter. Wilma made its first landfall in Cozumel, Mexico, an island off of the Yucatan Peninsula near Cancun, at 5.45 p.m. on October 21, 2005 as a Category 4 hurricane. It slowly crossed the northeast coast of the Yucatan Peninsula and emerged into the Gulf of Mexico around 8 p.m. on October 22, 2005 as a Category 2. Severe damage occurred in this area and four direct fatalities resulted. Wilma then turned to the northeast and began to increase in forward speed toward the southwest Florida coast. Zooming in, we see it made landfall at 6.30 a.m. on October 24, 2005 in Cape Romano, south of Naples in Collier County. It quickly moved northeast across the Everglades and exited into the Atlantic Ocean from near Jupiter at 11 a.m. It merged with a cold front system and quickly lifted into the North Atlantic thereafter. Wilma's northwest quadrant contained several heavy rain bands that moved over the area as the hurricane moved over the southern tip of the Florida Peninsula. This resulted in a broad area receiving 4 to 6 inches of rain, with pockets of 6 to 8 inches and even a small area near Lakeland and Polk County getting 10 to 12 inches. The large size of Wilma's core led to a widespread swath of damage across South Florida. The worst of the damage for our area was seen across Lee County, some of it represented in these photos. Wilma caused the largest disruption to electrical service ever experienced in Florida, with up to 98% of South Florida without power at some point. Wilma was the fifth costliest storm on record, with over $21 billion in damages. Wilma spawned 10 tornadoes as it moved over Florida, with one each in Hardy, Highlands, and Polk counties. It also caused five direct fatalities in Florida, with 23 total direct fatalities. Thank you for taking a look back at Hurricane Wilma with us. This video was produced by the National Weather Service Tampa Bay Area Florida office in honor of the 10th anniversary of Hurricane Wilma. For more information, please visit one of the websites shown.